I have one for you tonight that's pretty slimy. It's it's the nature of the instructions. You know, it's it's actually not a particularly difficult problem if you read the instructions carefully. It comes from a Finnish uh, math competition, I believe, and it says find uh, it says solve for a. That's kind of peculiar. You know, a is the only constant in this equation, but solve for a so that ax squared minus 5x plus 2 equals 0 has exactly one solution. That's not your garden variety problem. Normally, you just solve for something, get numerical answers, right? But we're supposed to find the a such that um, there's exactly one solution to this equation, okay? Now, of course, this looks like the quadratic uh, equation. There's a, a well-known uh, quadratic formula that solves that. And so that formula goes like this. It's, it's very familiar. Uh, x is equal to minus a minus 5, which would be equal to plus 5 in this case. So you have plus 5. I'll put that there just for emphasis because it's minus a minus 5, right? Okay, and then we put plus or minus this object that's referred to as the discriminant, the square root. You're used to hearing it called b squared minus 4ac. Well, b in this case is negative 5, so you get minus 5 squared. Okay, minus 4ac. Okay, well, that, that, there's literally where the a comes into play. Now we have 4 um, times a uh, times c, which happens to be, I'll, I'll write that as a parenthetical 2 to connote multiplication, right? Okay, now that's all over 2a. So, we know the only way for there to be a single solution, and that solution would be 5 over 2a, is for this part on the inside. Uh, oops, look, y'all, that should be uh, minus 5 squared. Sorry, uh, minus 4ac. That's a little sloppy. I'm sorry. All right. So y'all, if this piece right here, this piece inside the radical is equal to zero, that means you're gonna just have a single solution, which would be X equals to, uh, you don't really have to write this down, but just for the sake of, okay. So five, X equals five over two A would be the single solution, okay? Again, we're looking for a single solution is what the instructions call for. So that means we have to set this, this object equal to zero right here. And that's what I did right here. Uh, minus five squared minus four a minus two equals to zero. All right, and when you solve it out, you actually get a is equal to 25 over eight. Again, unnecessary to actually solve, but uh, so, well, actually that we do need to know that. So a equals 25 over eight is where most of us would stop. But it says, remember, we need a single solution. So you see a single solution would also happen when this a right here was equal to zero. All right. Now, what makes this kind of a psychologically, I guess, devastating problem is that you just look at this and you go quadratic formula, you can't, A can't be equal to zero because you'd be dividing by zero, right? But you see, that's not what it says. We're supposed to find any time this expression here has a single solution, whether it be the usual quadratic or whether it be the linear that you get if A is equal to zero, okay? And so you see right here, if you have A equal to zero, this equation just reduces to minus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0, which is what you see right down here. So again, you have a single solution in two cases, a equals 0 and uh, a is equal to 25 over 8. And that's the answer. But I suspect a high percentage of American math students would miss this. They, they're just so used to go, okay, use the formula, and we know that a can't be equal to 0. Well, this is, this is somebody, a very clever problem writer to actually produce this. So again, the, the, the answers would be A equals zero and A is equal to 25 over eight.